going to do an exercise that works around the booty uh, but before we do that we're going to step off over to, into the kitchen and you're going to cook up something that's simple tasty and easy to prepare well I'm only going to cook it if everyone's watching and if you get a taste test it at the end because I'm sure you're going to be hungry after your workout so we're going to make a beautiful chicken spinach and pumpkin salad and you know what it's only going to take a few minutes to prepare so stay tuned and don't go anywhere okay <laughs> Welcome back, hello, hello. I bet you were thinking, you know what? I really want some great ideas for another salad. Well, guess what? I've got a fantastic salad for you today and it's got pumpkin, it's got spinach, it's got chicken, it's delicious. So I'm gonna show you how to go from this to this in no time at all and you're gonna absolutely love it. It's a great, great salad. So. Come with me and we'll find out what we need to do. So let's have a look at our beautiful ingredients now and see how much we need to put in to make this beautiful salad. So the first ingredient that we have is some baby spinach and that's about 130 grams, which is about 4.7 ounces. Then we've got some lovely pumpkin. We've got about 440 grams or 15.6 ounces. We've got some beautiful cooked chicken breast, 260 grams or 9.5 ounces. We've got some lovely avocado, just one avocado that I've sliced there. We've got about 70 grams of chopped walnuts and that's about 2.5 ounces. And we've also got my favorite, 110 grams of Danish feta, which is about four ounces. So here we go, I've got a lovely big platter here and all we do is take beautiful spinach first and lay it out on your platter. Okay, so it's quick and easy. All I've done with that spinach now is I've just washed that. What we're gonna do now is take up the chicken breast and this is actually baked chicken breast that I've chopped up. You can dice it, shred it, you can do whatever you like. Pop that on the top, on it goes. Lovely. And I pick the chicken breast because obviously that's the leanest part of the chicken. So if you want to, you can pick other bits, but I recommend, you know, if you're watching your waistline, the chicken breast is the best. Now, we're going to take our beautiful pumpkin. Now, I've um, roasted this pumpkin. I've diced it up. The pieces are about one centimetre thick. And I've diced it and put it on a baking tray and then just sprayed it lightly with some olive oil, okay? And that's beautiful, it's, it's tender, but it's not falling apart. So on that goes, lovely. And then we might take a bit of crumbled feta. Now if you don't like dairy, you don't have to put the feta on, but it just adds to the flavor on the salad. I like it, it's a good way to have your dairy, and it's nice and soft, that Danish feta, and it's got a mild taste to it. So on that goes, now we've got some beautiful walnuts. How sensational does that look? Remember guys, mix it up, make things interesting, make it look good. If it looks good, it's inviting and everyone will want to have more. So there it goes. And the last but not least, we've got our beautiful avocado on top. So when you're having your salads, mix it up and use a variety of ingredients, fresh ingredients, and you know what? Use lots of different color. Then you know that you're getting all the nutrients that you need. So that's our beautiful salad. And I'll just rinse my hand off there. Okay, beautiful. Now all I've got is some extra virgin olive oil. So what I'm gonna do is put a light coating. Can we see light? That's very light. Okay, we don't need too much. 
put some beautiful olive oil and then you grab your balsamic vinegar, which I absolutely love, and a bit of a sprinkle of that on top as well. Lovely. Alrighty. So that is Nikki's beautiful chicken avocado spinach salad with pumpkin. Now, it's absolutely easy to prepare. You saw it, hope you enjoy it. You can have it for lunch, have it for a snack, have it for a light dinner. It's fantastic and we'll see you all soon with another great recipe. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just looking at my booty. <laughs> Does it look big? Well, well, we'll have a closer look at it when we do the workout. How's about that? We can check it out and see how good it is. What do you think of the recipe? Oh, wasn't it fantastic? I told you, and it's a great way to use pumpkin, all right? So, next we're gonna go with Con and do a workout for the booty. So if you want a nice, tight, round bum, guess what? Watch Con. And if you don't know how to do it, stay tuned to us after the uh, workout, we do a super famous tutorial that I conduct, of course, and Nikki records. It's awesome, so anyone can do it, okay? So let's see you outside today to do a fantastic workout. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Con. I'm here today to do another fantastic uh, workout. Today's workout will be using a timer, but you won't have to worry about it because I've got one here, okay? It's a couple of exercises. We'll get started straight away and then I'll show you the tutorial on how to do it, okay? So here we go. All right, beautiful. So this workout's gonna be about three minutes, guys. And remember we said it's gonna focus on your booty, all right? So if you wanna get a nice, round, tight bottom, these are the sort of exercises you should be doing. Why do you talk a lot, Nikki? I'm supposed to do the exercise. <laughs> you keep going, honey. If you want to talk, you do your uh, recipes and you <laughs> let me worry about the exercise part. She talks a lot, eh? Mum, <laughs> Okay. Okay, so as you can see, Con's doing a step up, step down. And this is going to go for another 30 seconds. So we do 30 seconds of booty curls. Now we're doing 30 seconds of step up, step down. No, it's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Now it kind of has swapped sides. Of course, we did one side first. You need to do the other side. You need to be balanced. And what you want to try and do is get that knee nice and high, just like Con has. See, she's still talking. I'm gonna do the tutorial at the end. Um, and we're outside today. Spring's in three days. Oh, absolutely. It's a beautiful 24 degrees. And perfect day to be outside doing exercise. Now the beauty with this workout, guess what? You can do it outside like we have, or you can do it inside. You don't need a lot of room, and you really don't need any equipment. You just need yourself, and watch Con and do the workout with him. Beautiful, so we're two thirds of the way through. We're a minute left to go, and now Con's gonna be doing backward and forward lunges with a finger touch. So he lunges forward, lunges back, and he's touching his fingers to the ground as he does that. And what we want to do is do one side, and then alternate to the other side. Fantastic. Excellent, we've got 30 seconds to go, and then our workout is done. Now my workout is done. <laughs> minutes and it is quite demanding but um, you're probably asking yourself how can I do this myself or maybe it looked a little bit hard and maybe I'm not as fit as con or I'm fitter and how do I make it easier and harder so 
I'm gonna cover that now. First exercise was a booty curl. That's just our position. Lift the leg up. So we swing down, up, and stop. Down, up, and stop, okay? That's a booty curl. The few mistakes people make is that they straighten their leg. Once that knee is bent, you keep it bent. So up, down, up, stop. Drag it down, push it up, and stop. Okay, so that's your booty curl. Do that for 30 seconds, and then we try and step up. So, assuming I've just done my booty curl, now it comes time to step up, same leg in front, then step up. Go down again, start position. Up. Okay, now, booty curl everyone can do. This one you might have some difficulty. So, bring the leg forward, do this, and help yourself up, if you have to. Ideally though, you want to bring that leg forward and drive up, okay? So that's the second exercise. Once we've done the right side, then we do the left side. Now, the last exercise was the easy part. It was an alternate finger touch lunge. So what we're doing, I'll we'll stand side on, forward, come down, touch. The knee's just off the ground. When we push back, I'll do that again. We push back, peeling back, stepping back, coming down again, knees off the ground. Then together. Other side, step forward, lunge, knees off the ground. Peel back, lunge back, knee off the ground, and together. So, Do that for a minute, so 30 seconds of each one. Booty curl, then step ups. Booty curl, step ups on the other side. And then do the forward back the lunges, and you're done. I'm Con. Wonder what's the next day. Eh? See ya. So, did you all do the exercises correctly? We were watching, okay? So make sure you all give it a go, because what did you need? No equipment, just yourself, and an open space inside or outside. So, Con, what have we got for next week? Next week, we've got another great. Uh, a workout like normal, another great uh, tutorial, and of course we're going to be in the kitchen with Nikki cooking up a storm once again. Oh absolutely, I've got a really nice recipe, all you need is a bit of broccoli and some asparagus and we'll be whipping up a fantastic soup. Yeah, so stay tuned for that, remember same time, same channel. I'm Con. I'm Nikki. See you again. Bye.